The hashtag and bad governance protests sweeping across Nigeria have ignited a firestorm of debate about the country's legal and judicial systems. As demonstrators call for an end to corruption, inequality and police brutality, the spotlight is shining bright on the need for accountability and justice. From Lagos to Abuja, Nigerians are demanding reforms to ensure those in power are held to account for human rights abuses and victims of police violence receive the justice they deserve. Well, joining me at this time to discuss the uh, judicial standpoint, you know, concerning the forthcoming protest in Nigeria is uh, uh, Best Man Jumbo Nze, is the president of Team Nigeria for Change. Also joining me is Steve Agoidier, is uh, a legal practitioner who joins virtually. Uh, but, uh, of course, uh, Jumbo joins me live in the studio. Gentlemen, thank you for your time. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me. All right. Uh, let me... Let me start with you. Um, I mean, what, what do you make of the idea of, you know, a protest uh, given, you know, the concerns from certain quarters as regards, number one, its impact and security concerns? Uh, well, every um, right-thinking Democrat or somebody with any form of democratic um, credential will always know that um, protests, there's nothing wrong with protest was is a key is a key instrument in any democratic evolution. So there's nothing wrong with people, somebody, institutions decide, deciding to stage protest hmm. because it, you are saying I don't agree with this. So if I'm standing on this side and you are here, so I'm protesting your standpoint, and there's nothing wrong with that. Hmm. In that regard, yes. Okay, but, but uh, given the current uh, situation in Nigeria, many have said, uh, is protest really the answer to, I mean, the issue of the cost of living crisis, the hunger, vis-a-vis uh, -vis the policies that we are seeing by this administration saying that, look, there are long-term policies, uh, be patient with us. Um, now, bringing it home now, because mm. what I did was a general overview mm. and a general definition of what protest is. Mm. But what we have been planned in Nigeria today is not the protest that I will support. Why is that? Thank you. There's no sane person that should support a protest at the time day of rage. I mean, that's from its pivotal. That's standpoint. just a title. I mm, mean, see, let's. Okay. A title derives from what you have in mind. You can't divorce the protest from what the organizers have in mind. But when that somebody is says we are going to have a day of rage, days of rage, there is no sound Nigeria that should support that. That is just a group. The bottom line for most people is hunger crisis, food insecurity, the cost of living. Good. Those are the, the, the basis. Which is why I said to you, okay. I can protest the cost of living. Mm. Man, something needs to be done. I can protest unemployment. This is not right. There should be jobs. I can protest in that regard. But when you tell me we're going to have 1st of August to 10th of August, and you tell me days of rage, there's no way any sound Nigerian support that. Because already, even from the embryonic stage of planning, it already connotes something that will be violent. Oh. That, that, that's just the reason mm. I'm not in support of this protest. I have a second major reason why I said, hey, if, if you're protesting that, I look at Lagos State, I see what Governor Bajide Somolu is doing presently. Every opportunity to assuage the situation, every opportunity for intervention. Now, what am I protesting in Lagos vis-a-vis -vis the, the demands of the Day of Rich People? None has any relevance for Lagos. If you say federal, yes, then go to Abuja. Because Lagos, this is the only place where, with all the crisis in the land, you and I will call it safe haven. And we come here, and for every time something has come up, and we said, okay, let's tackle it this way, the governor had responded. I'll give you an example. Was that three weeks By ago? distributing palliatives? By about three weeks ago, I was in a community. 
And I noticed that, hey, there were issues here. And I tried to make contact. And I got 500 packs of the own Jayco stuff. If you open that pack, it's got spaghetti, it's got butter, it's got a lot of things which the people were given. Now, that does not mean that's the way we should live. But that's what we call interventions. So uh, the question now, I think maybe I should just leave you for most so I don't leave Steve out of okay. this. Let's get Steve's opinion because I'm still okay. going to take you on that. Beautiful. Um, Steve, uh, I would like you to speak on this from a legal standpoint. Feel free to react to any of the things uh, Best Man has said. Steve, are you there? Okay. Well, they, they are judicial authorities. Yes, I'm with you. I don't. We seem to be having a bit of connectivity issues, you know, with uh, Steve. Steve, can. Okay, I think uh, we, of course, are having a bit of connectivity issues, but I'm still going to come back to you. You said uh, uh, you, at some point, you know, uh, requested some sort of intervention, and that happened. But the question on the lips of many is, how long will this hold? And is that really a solution? Because personally, I mean, spaghetti, rice, two derricas, I mean, for, for an... It hunger strike, hunger protest. And we are intervening with food. Doesn't food solve hunger? Is that is that is uh, that the kind uh, of food? Doesn't food solve hunger? And is that what Nigerians? Is that what? Are you saying is that what, that that's what Nigerians? Forty want? years ago. Sorry. Forty years ago. Sorry. Fella sang ordinary <laughs> food for man to chop for town. You know the. So you are saying palliative is the way? No, I didn't say that. It's an that's intervention. That's what you I said it's an intervention. I use my I choose my words carefully. 1984, Sonny Okoso sang, "Which way Nigeria?" Which way to go? I don't know whether you understand you, but at about that same time, Colin Tina last sang a song and he said, Erola Jeshu, Erola Mumi, Nan, Itigbo, which means that let's stop sleeping with our wives because we'll make babies and the cost of baby food is expensive. Why did I say that? We make it look as if this is the first time in Nigeria that things have been bad. Now, am I, supp am I supposed that that shouldn't be changed? No. But you see, I like being objective. I like being very objective. I say to you, there are interventions, but that is not the solution. Uh, can I ask you just a simple Please question? Please go ahead. How much was a bag of rice eight years ago? How much was a bag of rice 15 years ago? <laughs> right now, Nigeria is experiencing the worst inflation in its history, particularly when it comes to food, basic food items. It's never been this bad. Let me break it down. With you let, me, let me break it down. Before, intervention with before, food. Yes. before yes. Gary was considered the food of the poor. Right now, even the poor or the rich can't even afford it. And you are coming to As say. As a young boy, I used to. I and you are coming to say. Bread. So, are you I calling was, this. I will sell bread so, what do you call the situation Nigerians are going through right now? Right now, now there's pain in the land. I, see, if, if only are you giving the current administration a slap on the wrist? Yes. So they are doing well? Yes. You should have ask me why. Why? A friend told me, he said, if I was Tinubu, I would return for a subsidy. I would keep borrowing money to support the Naira. I would just say, I would, I would, all the changes I'm trying to make, I will leave it. And I will go eight years. And I'll have a good name. In fact, I will self work for 20 years ahead and collect the money. And after eight years, somebody else from Nigeria crumbles. But the man decides to say, no, call me out the bad names. Let me do all these things so that Nigeria can have it tomorrow. And that's what exactly the man, that's why I'm going to give him a, a pat on the back for doing, for being courageous enough to sacrifice himself and his name. Nigeria was messed up before this government so, came on board. So, so, so you are saying that the administration is doing well, an administration that keeps telling Nigerians to tighten their belt, an administration that keeps telling Nigerians to be patient, yet... They are buying a new presidential jet, splashing millions in dollars. Yet, they are spending lavishly on projects that Nigerians are beginning to question, if at all, it's the priority. Let me leave you for a moment. I, am... I think we have Steve back. Okay. Steve, thank you for staying with me. Please, I, I would like you to react, if at all, uh, particularly from a legal standpoint. Can you hear me now? Yes. Can you hear me? 
Okay. Yes, Steve, we can hear the, you. The right to put okay, the right to protest is guaranteed by the constitution. The right to peaceful assembly is a constitutional matter. It is guaranteed there. And the courts have declared that that right is protected under the constitution. Now, let's go to what end governance uh, dot, uh, hashtag is talking about. They are talking about the social issues that are in Nigeria today. The issues of subsidy, the issue of insecurity in the land and the need for government to do something about it. They are talking about the hardship and hunger in the land. They are talking about the misgovernment that is in the land. These are clear issues that you can protest about. Now, the nomenclature that they give their protest is no reason why you will say somebody cannot protest. I mean, it's absurd to say because you are saying days of rage, you cannot protest. You can use any nomenclature you like. The process has not even started. How can you adjudge what the protest will be from a name? Rage simply means I, I am very, very angry about something. And I mean, people are entitled to say they are angry. They have the freedom of speech to say what they are saying. So I don't understand also when you say um, that uh, people cannot protest in Lagos. Actually, the protest has, is, is going on all, all over the nation, and Lagos is part of this nation. So there's no reason why protests cannot go on in Lagos. Uh, you, you see, I, I, don't, I don't really see with respect the point that uh, my good friend in the studio is making. All right. Uh, let me leave you for a moment, Steve. I, I think you, you want to react. Yeah, because, man. see, I'd like us to uh, listen to ourselves and pick our point. I started by saying every person has a right to protest. And I've said, in relation mm. to the theme of the protest, which says days of rage, there's no reason for that in Lagos. That does not in any way mean there shouldn't be protests in Lagos. Now, when you're protesting in Lagos, what are we protesting against? Federal issues, no problem. But when you are doing your protest, citizen B has the right to say, I am not joining your protest. Mm. Why citizen A is protesting? Now, citizen B opens his shop. Do I have the right to open my shop on that day? My business place? Mm. What is the protection that guarantees citizen B? That this citizen A and his team will not disturb my own business who does not believe I should protest. Anybody who is um, cosmopolitan, who is civil, who is learned, will know that protest is a fundamental human right of every citizen in a democracy, especially when we are not in a military government. So nobody argues the issue of whether protest is legitimate or not. But what I'm saying is the tone, the theme of this protest is not acceptable to some segment of society, which I am, which a part I am of. A part of. Mm. I'll give you another example. There's, a, there's somebody at the beginning of the, of the um, how do I say it now? When they started the issue of protest, a certain name, I'll call, I wish I could, I don't want to, maybe I shouldn't call his name, but he's a top politician in Lagos. How did he tweet Feel free to call his name. His name is um, Baba Trude Olare Baramosi B.O.G. We call him B.O.G. And he said, during this protest, look out for APC members. Look out for APC sponsors. Attack them. He was there. He said it and was circulated. Now, such a person must be, must be checked even during the protest. Because people have the right, I've done protests. And what do I do? I get a hall. And I invite media. And we lay out our grievances. That's a conference. That's, a a, that, no, that's, 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 no. that's more like a press briefing. You said you it's, invite see, media. I invite media. I In invite, a hall. And everybody comes there to aggregate our protests and get, like that, ventilate our anger. That, that's a town hall. So yeah. that there will not be I don't see how that is a protest anyway. Because we want to be very careful pre, what we did well pre, pre answers. Mm. Now, after answers, a lot of things need modification because once beaten, twice anyway, Because we're pressed for time, uh, let me go to Steve. Uh, quickly, Steve, if you can hear me. Uh, we are pressed for time. I would like to take your, your reactions, if at all, and then uh, in 30 seconds, your final thoughts. 
Okay, so you see, um, you see, look, first of all, uh, we have a, a, a fundamental human right to free speech. Um, uh, Mr. Badamosi can say whatever he likes. He doesn't represent all of Nigerians that wish to protest. Nigerians can protest. Um, the issues that end governance is protesting about affect Lagos as they affect all other parts of the nation. So the ca people can protest in Lagos. By the nature of protest, we, in which I myself have participated before, protests move from one place to the other. They don't stay in one place. They, they are not, no one is asking you to close your shop if you don't want to close your shop. It is for security to make sure that people can do whatever they want to do when they want to do it. The protests are the protesters who go peacefully on their own to do their protests. Security can guard them and ensure. Them. I mean, this is what is done in the civilized world. So I don't, I don't, I really don't see why anyone would say uh, the protest will necessarily disturb you from doing your business. If you wish to do your business, do it. People will go around doing their own protest. So I, that, 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 is, that is my point. Um, Nigerians are really suffering. Let's be truthful about this. Nigerians are suffering. The inflation is, uh, is rampant. In, in fact, this is what I suspect they call hyperinflation. We are getting to the point where government cannot tame it and they are not taking measures to take it, tame it. That's what is on the ground. I mean, prices got up from week to week. Right. We know this. Legislators are not doing their job to be the opposition. The opposition parties are not doing their job. That is why people are reacting. I mean, mm. this is clear. So um, I am fully in support of the protest as a check, as a means to bring government to the path of accountability to the people All right. who are suffering seriously. All right. Uh... Thank you very much. Thank you for that, uh, Mr. Steve Ag Ag Aguiode. Now, uh, for you, Bestman, your final thoughts. But uh, again, I, I, just I, quickly, I'm do you think Nigerians are suffering? I'm, there's so much, there's um, so much suffering all over the world right now. No, I'm, I'm talking world, about Nigerians. World economic are situation. Nigerians suffering? Nigerians have always been suffering. I used to sell. Nigerians have always been suffering. To so should it continue? Bread. No, it shouldn't continue. And that's why Bola Tinubu is carrying. Is taking every step to ensure that this doesn't continue. We we'll feel the pain for now. Give him two years, two and a half years, <laughs> and if things don't change, then I will join the protest. Okay, so it's uh, you are comfortable with uh, sinking the ship, with the hope that hopefully it will uh, come up again. You are sink, sink the protest, the violent protest. The planner will sink the ship. Mm. Yeah. Thank you for your time, Thank you. man.